Thanks, Steve. Well, tonight we are learning what will happen to some Nick Nicholas High School football players accused of assaulting a team member. It's now possible that those four boys will have that charge erased from their record. Nine on your side, Tom McKee is live at juvenile court. So why might this happen, Tom? Well, the four teens appeared, of course, here in Hamilton County Juvenile Court this morning, and that's when they learned the felonious assault charge has been changed to a misdemeanor assault charge. But there's a catch. It's if they complete an anti-bullying program to the satisfaction of the court and their records could be expunged. October 2014, four McNicholas freshman football players are accused of kicking a teammate in the groin with cleats. February 2015, the felony charge is reduced to a misdemeanor before Magistrate Judge John McManus. Attorney Tom Heakin represents one of the four and tells me there never was evidence to suggest a felonious assault charge was appropriate. But there's a catch. All four must complete court-approved anti-bullying counseling before coming back to court April 10th. If that's successful, the charges will be dropped. I asked Crystal Bright of Lighthouse Youth Services what the message of that counseling might be. That it's not okay to treat people that way and that everybody is a human and needs to be treated as such. But what happens in a group where there's likely a leader and followers? I think just working on self-esteem a lot because a lot of people who are susceptible to that group think um, tend to have very low self-esteem and feel like maybe their opinions don't count. Role playing and role reversal might help the accused see things from the victim's perspective. But how would we know if the four really learned their lesson? I think once they're able to verbalize that they can see what the other person was feeling, um, and know that what they were doing was wrong, I think that's when we would know. McNicholas Communications Director Shannon Kapp said the school isn't commenting until it gets more information on the case from the court and prosecutors. But she did confirm that the four students that have been charged have since withdrawn from the school. And Knapp repeated that McNicholas High School does not tolerate inappropriate behavior against any of its students. Now, this counseling plan still is in development. Once it's approved, though, Attorney Heakin tells me he thinks it's the best way for all parties involved to avoid from having to go through a trial. Tom McKean, not on your side, live downtown.